Hello everyone, it's Buddy Bree and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a unboxing on BBG's The Fourth Mini Album Versus and I'm really excited to do these because it's been like way too long since their last comeback. I think it was like eight months or something. Right? It was February. I don't know, but it feels like it's been 10 years. Um but yeah, I've, I've needed more music from them and they finally pulled through and we got new music from our queens, finally, finally. So yeah, enough rambling, let me just get into it. It's like, world, this comeback was something. Okay, so here are the photo books and honestly, we're going back to pop up era because if you guys or if you guys are familiar with the albums if you have them they're like in magazines and girl they went back to their roots so i'm gonna start with this one because it's giving cyberpunk cybercore i'm not sure if that's the right aesthetic i don't know my aesthetics guys i'm sorry if i say it wrong but yeah let me start with this one since their faces are on there Okay, so I just suddenly remembered that this is called the fake version. So let's open it up and see all the glory. Okay, now this looks really cool. Okay, versus. And here we have Unha. Oh my gosh, she looks so good, dude. Alright, can we talk about how amazing Maniac is? like it's literally that song um when i first heard the snippets of you know all the songs from this mini album i instantly knew that maniac was going to be you know a very um oh my god it looks so good like i instantly knew it was going to you know be groundbreaking for them you know as a group because you know a lot of people when they think about bbg they think oh you know x cheaper members so i felt like this would you know solidify them as just like bbg you know they're a different group and so it makes me really happy that you know as of now because they're not promoting maniac anymore um as of now they're promoting untie which is another great song um like as of now the song is charting domestically like congrats to them oh my god wait sorry y'all um g is distracting me you guys know how you guys know she's my bias so i'm like okay ma'am okay as i was saying because um g is distracting me like her visuals are killing me um like i'm really happy for them and it sucks that they didn't get you know first place you know you know the music shows but at least they're charting and i wish bpm kind of promoted them a bit more if that makes sense because sometimes no tea no shade i feel like they don't do enough for our girls but i don't know that's just me let me know if you agree <laughs> but yeah now they're promoting untie which is incredible like the choreography is insane they already released a performance video um as of now while i'm filming and they got beyonce's choreographer like how were they able to do that i don't understand how they bagged her but they did and i hope bpm keeps her because because she's making them shine individually through the choreography which is good also can we talk about how people are saying that um untie should have been the title track because i mean yeah it's a good song but i don't think it's title track worthy a lot of people were saying that on twitter that untie should have been the main title song and i disagree like maniac i think it's just perfect as the way it is i said this to my friend earlier that 
like it kind of reminded me a little bit of the love dive and you know how well if you know like anything about love dive by ive you know that it i think it's their best song out of five so it reminded me a little bit of that and i was like oh yeah this is gonna be their love dive this is gonna be you know the song that gets them that finally gets them recognition and it is so um let's go girls i need more songs like this like bpm keep those producers that worked onto this song because it's so so good i need more songs like this i feel like songs like that perfectly match their tones i guess that makes sense like their tone of their voice i think it matches them perfectly like all three of them like it's just perfect everything about it's perfect guys i will i will die on this hill and i would say that maniac is their best song period (laughs) okay so that's the that's this is the bag it's holographic i love that it's holographic and so here is the cd for some reason it ripped in the back i don't like that i think that would that was my fault though (laughs) so yeah this is the cd it says versus here's the bag it has all the title songs also overflow is another good b-side that i actually really like really really good um and here is the cd it has all the cameras in here it has the track list this is like a really good cd design not gonna lie and here is the poster not gonna lie i'm kind of glad it's not a folded poster but it's a really small one so i wish it was a bit bigger but it's fine i don't i don't think i remember if they had any folded posters for their previous albums i'm gonna have to check that out but yeah here are the stickers that come with the album um it has all the names of the songs which i love and it's also very holographic and we have the logo right here. We also got a OMG identification card. And I think, no, wait, is that? Oh, I think that's their debut date. And I think it's supposed to look like that. I thought that was a stain at first, but yeah, very cute. Oh, in the back. Pass. interesting and for the photo card we've got shimbi and she looks really good i love this eye makeup on her and i think she's wearing the outfit from the music video from where they're all in a band (laughs) but yeah very cute i love it she looks so great in it i think i'm gonna collect all of the photo cards but i don't know we'll see and it's holographic in the back very cute i love it okay so here's the last photo book this is called the date version so yeah let's open it up it's kind of like a book if you think about it yeah it says fate right there thank you for reminding me leave one's fate behind i feel like visually this album i mean this photo book fits fits maniac a bit more and the last one fit untie if that makes sense but yeah so we have one huh gosh she looks amazing in blonde hair guys like she's freaking incredible she's so beautiful oh she's been bias wrecking me lately did i mention that like like seriously she is gorgeous how can you like i'm speechless when i look at her oh here we got undy line also the fact that they both are blonde like i was a bit shocked when they first revealed the photos well i think unha was first or was it shimbi i don't remember but one of them you know revealed on instagram that their hair well i think it was shimbi because there was a photo of her that was all over 
Twitter where she was covering her hair. You know, she had a hat on and she was covering her hair. And we were like, oh my god, come back. Hello. So yeah, I think it was Shinbi. But yeah. And the fact that Unha went back to blonde, like, I didn't think we would ever see her blonde again after, you know, Apple and Mago era, you know, the G friend era. Um, so I was a bit shocked, but yeah, Shinbi looks incredible she looks incredible and blonde like i'm still speechless girl Oof. honestly i don't know if i like this type of design of a photo book because i have to like turn it around just to see the other photos like and i don't have room for that <laughs> all right so here we have machina line Imagine if Oji went blonde too. I feel like this it would have been more cunt <laughs> if she was also blonde because imagine okay like Shinbi and Unha being blonde, you know, it's already incredible. Like imagine Oji was blonde. All three of them being blonde, oof, I would not handle that. I would have been on the ground, shaking, crying, throwing up, gagging on the floor, you know, all that. <laughs> I would have been that way. I'm sure you would too. I know I know for sure. Oh, I really love her shoes here. Hey Queen, let's go. Also, like, can we talk about how they finally met Lil Uzi? <laughs> I know this is so random, but I just felt like talking about it because I don't know. I never really was able to talk about it with other, you know, knobs and stuff, but if you know, if you were a G Friend fan back in the day, you guys would know that. You know, Lil Uzi, you know, the rapper loved G Friend. Like, for since their debut, like, he loved them, right? And the fact that he finally got to meet them, because it was a concert in South Korea. And Yuju was there too. I was so shocked. <laughs> but was, I'm sure he had a good time. I wish that was me though. Maybe one day I will meet the girls too. Oof, OMG. Okay. Let me try to go fast with this, but I don't know. I don't know. They all look so good. I need a I need time to appreciate the, their visuals. Personally, I think I like this concept a bit more than the last one. Because the last one, they look a bit edgy. I like when they look soft and, you know, kind of like goddesses, if that makes sense. I mean, they're, they're goddesses here. Like, look at them. I love the white. Oof. In a way, it kind of reminds me of Rum Pum Pum. Sort of, kind of, I don't know. Fashion wise, I guess it kind of does. Also, I'm still kind of mad that they weren't able to perform. I mean, did they perform Rum Pum Pum? I don't remember actually. That was like last year. During the Queendom era, the Rum Pum Pum was so good. I wish it would have been a comeback, sort of. Or at least they should have done something. I'm sorry, like, if you're unha biased, like, ugh, I don't know how you guys can, like, breathe <laughs> when you see her, because I can't. Okay, we, here we have the three girls. They got mothers here. And that's it. That's just the track list, okay? Yeah, the lyrics. Overflow, which is another good song. A by Day is also really good too. This whole this whole mini album was really good. If I were to rank the albums, I mean the mini albums that they released, I think I would put this first and then Bop Bop and then wait, Beam of Prism, I mean. 
and then third place would be summer vibe and then um various yeah here's the back here we have the girls here is the cd this one's not ripped luckily but uh, here we have the back backwards why is it backwards Oof. oh my gosh i love the design look at the butterflies because of knob oh i love that and here's the poster i think it goes this way if you were to hang it up on your wall yeah this looks so good oh yes oh i love it i love it this is my favorite so far i love this can we have more photo shoots like this Please, BPM, do something. I'm begging you. And now for stickers. And we have Shinji's identification card. And another Shinji. Oh my gosh, she's been like... She's so obsessed with me. <laughs> Here's the back. Okay, so here I'm gonna do unhug, and honestly, I don't know what feel these. I always forget what they're for. I think maybe they're like digital things. I think they did that for um, they did that for various, right? So yeah, this is her her box, and we have a sticker right here. So cute. And the lyric book. I have like a film photo, I guess if that's what you call them. Okay, so we have Omgi. And we have oh are these are these scratch cards? I've never had any scratch cards before. Um I'm gonna have to do this later. <laughs> And we have these, wait, these are the same. Wait, why did I get two? Do all of them come with two? They have a code in the back. I'm confused. Why do I need two codes for? So here I have Shindy's. I got the same Unha sticker. Are these stickers random too? Oh, well, let me trade! <laughs> We're trading stickers now. That's kind of funny. Another. Oh, I got two film photos now. Okay. Another photo card, another scratch card, and one. Do they confuse themselves because why am I getting two phone photos? Was I supposed to get another photo card? Unless they're different and I'm not noticing anything. Now they're both the same. Okay, now we're doing umgis. Hopefully we get two photo cards because why am I getting two of almost everything? That's honestly leaving me kind of confused, but... It's whatever. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my gosh, it looks great. Love this photo card. Another scratch card. Here we have um, a lyric book. Oh, we got a different sticker this time. We got MG. Another film photo. And another sticker. I mean, another of the code. Okay. They didn't give me doubles this time, so. I wonder what that was. 
Okay, so here's my attempt at scratching the cards. I was using eraser earlier, but that wasn't working. So I just said, you know what, let's just use the coin. Um, and yeah, I was very nervous because I seen videos of scratch cards being ruined for using coins, but luckily these were fine. And um, I haven't seen anyone translate the messages and uh, I can't read Korean for the life of me, so if anyone can let me know uh, what they say, that will be really appreciated. And also, I forgot which members were which for um, the messages, So, and they all look different, so um, yeah, I'm guessing all I got all three of the girls' messages. Hopefully, they weren't random for everybody, but yeah, please let me know, I'm interested, and... Yeah, here's the rest. Alright everyone, that's the end of this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more unboxing videos and more BBG videos in general. Um, please stream Maniac and Untai. Um, please, please, the songs are so good and the whole album as well. And please support the girls through everything and hopefully next time we'll get a full album because we need it. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.